This is number six from the review problems. Um, so this is a ballistic pendulum problem, and that means that we have an inelastic collision with a bullet striking a piece of wood, and then we have, um, we're going to use energy after that to find how high the bullet um, block R is, reaches. Um, so let, I'll just read the problem. A 70 kilogram bullet moving east at 400 meters per second strikes a 1.2 kilogram block on the right and becomes embedded in it. The bullet is embedded in the block of wood. What is the velocity of the bullet and block after the collision? And then how high will the bullet block system rise above its original point? We'll draw the energy bar charts for the system before the collision and then after the collision and at height h. So our givens, we have the mass of the bullet is equal to 70 grams, so that's 0 0.07 kilograms. The velocity of the bullet is 400 meters per second. Uh, the mass of the wood is equal to 1.2 kilograms. And to find, we're looking for the velocity final after the collision. And then we're looking for the how high it goes, so we'll call that y final. And then we'll have to do energy bar charts. So drawing our picture, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to think about this problem in two steps. The first step, we're going to have the bullet um, as it and before it's in, it's uh, hits the wood, and then after. So this is going to be my before and after is going to be the bullet, and then the bullet in the wood. So this is before and after, and then I'm going to have another before and after, and so this one's going to be my before for this one is when is, is the the bullet in the wood right after the collision, and then the bullet at, in the wood at this height. So this is going to be my before and after. And so I'm going to treat them completely separately. I'm going to do this one first using momentum, and I'm going to do this one after using energy. So let's start with the momentum to find A. So I'm going to have P initial is equal to P final. So that means the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the wood times the velocity of the wood. And these are all initial is equal to, now they're together right after the collision. So I'm going to say m bullet plus m wood times the final velocity of them together. OK, so we know that the velocity of the wood before isn't moving. So this is going to go to 0. And um, we're looking for v final. So we're just going to divide both sides by the sum of the masses. So v final is equal to mass of the block, mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet over mass of the bullet plus mass of the wood. And so that's equal to um, 0 0.07 kilograms times 400 meters per second divided by uh, 0 0.07 kilograms plus 1.2 kilograms. And so v final then is equal to 22 meters per second. Okay, and so part B, now we're going to use, or we're not using this before anymore. We know that here, this is moving at 20, so now my V here is equal to 22 meters per second. So this is going to be my new before, and this is my after. So here I'm going to be using energy to figure out what is the height after, and I'm going to be using this as my um, velocity before. So I'm going to say E energy initial is equal to E final. And um, so I have, when I think about my energy here, I'm going to have no potential energy, all kinetic energy. And here I'm going to have no kinetic energy and all potential energy. So I'm going to have U, gravitational potential energy initial plus kinetic energy initial is equal to U final plus K final. And so here I have no potential energy. 
at the start and at the finish I have no kinetic energy so it's not moving. So I'm going to have 1 half mv squared is equal to mg y final. So and now remember that my m's here are the sum of these two and they also cancel. So now my y final is going to be v, v initial squared over 2g. Right, I need to divide by g and when I plug in numbers I get 22 meters per second squared divided by 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. So y final is equal to 25 meters. Okay, and so the last thing I need to do is to draw um, energy bar charts for the bullet block system before the collision. Okay, so we'll do before the collision first. So before the collision I have um, the potential energy, so U, we'll call this um, A, and we'll call this uh, B, and then we'll call this C. So I've got before the collision, after the collision, and then at um, the height, H. So U um, of the bullet, this is U of the wood, and it's going to be um, K. So this is my A. This is my B. So let's do this one first. Um, so at the start, I've got a K of the We'll just call this K. So K can be, um, and we'll call this just, how about we just do U and K. So U and K. So I have no potential energy and I have lots of kinetic energy here. And then at B I have um, U and K here and then I have E thermal. So remember anytime that you have a, an inelastic collision you lose some energy. So that's going to be E thermal here. So I don't have any at the start. I'm all kinetic energy. So now I'm slowing down. Right, I went from 400 right, 400 times 400 times my the mass of my bullet to the mass of the total times 22 and then I have some E thermal. So We'll add some in there. So these two should add to this. This is going to be point A. It's going to be point B. So before collision, after collision, and then at height. So I'm going to have U, K, and E thermal. So after, I'm going to keep my E thermal. I've still lost energy. And now the rest is going to be in my potential energy.